today I'm going to share something with you that I'm actually having a hard time admitting. And that is that this little, little cutie that you see here, named Sami, is what they call a reactive dog. Just watch what he does five times out of ten whenever we meet a new dog. <laughs> He's a little monster, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Really feisty. <sighs> yeah, it's hard to believe, right? When you see him so cute and you would probably think that he's the world's sweetest dog. And that's actually true. He is like that when we're at home and when we are among people but not when it comes to other dogs. Uh, when there's another new dog around, someone that he doesn't know, there's a 50% chance that he's gonna react like this. So he just, it just comes out of the blue. I have no idea when he's gonna do it because he acts all normal. And then at some point he just, you know, his tail goes all stiff and he just lunges at the other dog and starts barking really ugly and it's a whole thing and i have to just pull him behind to pull him back and you know he hasn't bit any dog so far but i don't know if it's because i pulled him and i never let him actually you know get too close and the thing is it's very limiting because we can go to dog parks uh, because we've been to dog parks exactly twice and i actually have a video i'm gonna link it up here uh, when we went to a dog beach and Sami was actually attacked by another dog um, smaller than him so it was pretty harmless but still it was pretty stressful and I picked him up and I just we went away so it wasn't his fault that time but um, a lot of the times it is his fault and he initiates the fight the thing is he wasn't always like this when he was a puppy he was you know, pretty brave, pretty relaxed, I think, among other dogs. Uh, he was curious, he would just go say hi to any dog that he met. So what happened that I think changed Sami and made him like this is that he was attacked by another dog off leash multiple times. Uh, and that's, I have a huge problem with people who uh, walk their dogs off leash, especially when the dog has no recall. So, you know, the owner just runs behind the dog and yells, he's friendly, don't worry, you know? And the dog is just like attacking my dog. So the first time um, he was a puppy, he was, I don't think he was a year old, he was less. And we were walking in the, historic center of our city. It was a super narrow street. Sami was on a leash. My husband was uh, holding the leash. And there was this couple that was walking by with their husky off leash. And the husky just approached Sami to say hi. Um, and I thought it was fine, you know, cause I was, I was a new dog owner and I honestly didn't even think that something bad could happen and everything seemed you know they seemed friendly and at some point out of the blue i just didn't see it coming the husky attacked sami and cornered him and the owner who was by his side managed to grab him pulled him back and then i don't know how but the husky got away and he he went again and he just attacked sami I, we couldn't even tell what was happening so my husband just pulled Sami up by the leash. Sami flew through the air um, and he was fine. You know, he wasn't hurt or anything, but I imagine it must have been traumatic for him, you know, and we got really scared. And then the second time this happened, I think a few months after another dog off leash, uh, not so big this time, it was a medium sized dog, attacked Sami. Again, Sami flew through the air and the owner was all like, ah, oh, but she's so friendly, I don't know what happened. And yeah, this happened a few times more after that, throughout the years, unfortunately. 
Uh, at some point we got, this was the scariest one of all, we got attacked by a stray dog in Greece. Uh, and I was actually alone. It was, I was alone with Sami and I got really scared because the dog, it, there was a pack of them actually. And apparently I went into their th territory and I didn't even know it. So they started barking at us and coming towards us, me and Sami. And I pick Sami up and I turn around to leave and this one dog starts just running after us, barking, like really angry. Um, and I just got super scared and everything was fine in the end because I ran away. He did get my leg a little bit and I, I had a bruise for months, but Sami was fine. Uh, but I think that he sensed my anxiety because I, I was just uh, pretty much <laughs> shaking like you would in a situation like that. Because um, the dog, you know, when he got my leg, he was jumping to get to Sami. And I got really scared because I thought that, you know, he might get to Sami. And yeah, anyway, so I think that um, he's crying at the window right now because he probably wants to go outside. Sami? Come on. Would you think that he's reactive when you look at this face? He's so cute. You're so cute. <laughs> yeah, and so yeah, that was the most stressful episode of all. And I think that it must have left a mark on him because he felt my fear and my anxiety. Um, yeah, so I, I wish that I could have done things differently, but I just, I don't, I don't see how I could have, you know. Um, I watched a lot of videos after that and I saw how you're supposed to not pick the dog up. Um, you're supposed to just leave him there and step in front of him so that you block, you know, any attack so you the dog feels defended uh, the thing is that is really tricky because that was a big dog and if you know Sami is pretty feisty in situations like this when he's afraid he just wants to basically attack first and I don't think that it's worth taking that chance and after that, there were a few more incidents and actually one was here on our street with a golden retriever, if you can believe it. He was like, that's the sweetest dog in the whole world. And he was just uh, off leash, of course. And we were walking, minding our own business and he ran towards us. I thought, oh, he's being friendly, you know? And all of a sudden they started fighting and next thing I knew I was just picking Sami up and basically not running away but not far from that and the owner was just yelling you know for the dog to come here and the dog wouldn't listen so all of these incidents um, made me pretty <laughs> reactive as well they made me a little bit fearful when i see another dog especially if it's off leash especially if it's a big dog and um, i've had a few reactions actually when when i would turn a corner and you know i was walking relaxed and there was another dog off leash around the corner and my knee jerk reaction was to just pull on the leash just to protect sami and to pull him to the other side and all of these things, I think that they had, you know, a big impact on, on him and on why he is so reactive right now. And the thing is, it's very hard to control a reaction like that. It's very hard because I never know when it's going to be okay and when it might be something basically life-threatening. 
you know, because he's a small dog, it doesn't take much to do real damage. So yeah, if you have any tips, uh, please do share them in the comments because I, I don't know if it gets any better from, from here. I don't know. Uh, the thing is that he gradually became more reactive with time. In the beginning, he would only maybe react like this 20% of the time with other dogs. And then it just went up, up to this point when he's just like one out of two dogs, for sure he's gonna react like this. And it doesn't matter if it's a small dog, a big dog, a male, a female, neutered or intact, doesn't matter. He just, it seems random. I don't know, maybe it's not, but um, this is, you know, this is how he reacts. Yeah, and I just wanted to share that because I'm sure that a lot of you watching this have the same issue. Uh, Westies do tend to be pretty feisty and it's not for nothing that they're called a small dog in a big dog's, no, a big dog in a small dog body. Um, yeah, so if you're dealing with this as well, leave me a comment below and tell me what has your experience been like so far. And if you have any tips, again, you know, just please share them. I am really curious to hear what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, give it a like uh, below and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.